In our next piece, we'll meet some of the members of the Wanto lacrosse team who claim that their success is a result of being just downright hard workers. For this team that travels deep in the playoffs every year, they're hoping that this year they just may win that state championship title once again. So here at One Third, not only uh, you know we're here to play lacrosse, but we're a lacrosse family. The boys here work, and they know that their jobs are, and, and, and they take care of them. They have a, a goal, in, you know, in mind, and that's to win a county championship. It's always a special year here. Um, our goal every year is to win a county championship. Last year we came up a little short. Um, this year our record is 13 and three. In 2001 we really got on the map by winning a state championship. It was our first time to win the counties and we were fortunate enough to win the states that year as well. We had a tough first few games and came out uh, even. But uh, I think we grew from it as a team, got better and uh, where we are today, I think we're ready for the playoffs and ready to make another run. We love the type of kids we have here. Blue collar, hard working, We'll play anybody, anywhere, and uh, you know, the effort is always going to be there from the Warriors. Always going to be there. This is uh, one of the first times we've had it. Five captains this year. Uh, they work hard. They lead by example. And uh, most importantly, they give everything they have every day that they can. Our first captain is uh, Jake Gambitsky. He's a two-time starter, goalie. One of the best students in the school. He's going to Harvard University next year. Um, he was an honorable mention All-American last year. He's just a tremendous leader, and uh, it's great to have that type of leadership in the goal. Our second captain is Ryan Walsh. He's a big, strong kid. He's about 6'4", 230 pounds. I believe he's the best uh, attackman in Nassau County. Um, he's another great uh, leader for our younger players. John Grilly, he's a workhorse. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's uh, really helped us out, like a lot of, he scored a lot of goals and, and made some big plays when we needed him to. He's a real playmaker back there with a lot of speed and quickness and gives uh, other teams a lot of trouble on, on the def defensive side. And Grady Weber is, is another workhorse who, you know, he changed position because I got hurt and he really adapted. He had no problems, you know, learning a new position. He's going to Navy, I mean, you can't ask for, more, for a better character person than him. Another captain is James Bonanno. He's a senior leader for us. He's been a four-year starter for us. He was a little banged up this year early in the year. Uh, we moved him down to attack, and uh, he's really put a, a great impact on our offense being down there. He's a real tough cover and a real tough matchup for other teams. This team is probably one of the best teams I've coached, uh, not only uh, talent-wise, but just you know, uh, attitude-wise, uh, character-wise. This is a very good group of young men. We have a great tradition here at Wontaw. We've been here for a long time. We've played together since third grade, most of us, and the coaches have really brought us together too. Coaches here are great. I mean, they're, they're like a father figure. Anything you have, if you have any problems, they're always there for you. And uh, coaching, you know, they always do a great job. They put the right guys in, and uh, if someone who feels like they should be able to play, they always say, come right up to me and we'll give you a shot. So they, they give everyone a fair shot. Our coaches are great. You know, they're always here in the off season trying to help us out. It's, you know, as much effort as we want to put in, they'll be there to support us. So whether that be speed and agility in the gym during the winter, or our winter league or our summer league, they're always there for us. Coach Ray has been, you know, here for all four of my years on varsity. And he's been, he's been awesome. He's really treated me well, uh, you know, always supporting us as, as players, as individuals. And he always gives us the best, the uh, best chance to win. It's just been a blessing to be coaching this group of seniors. They, I've had them since they were, uh, some of them eighth grade, some of them is ninth graders, and you know, all in all, they really do the, the great job and they, uh, they really try to make themselves better. Well, every year is a new start, but it's also sad at the end, you get really close to the boys over four years. Yeah, it's a good experience, just going out, trying to win a championship in the last month of school, and it'll be a solid way to go out if we could grab the championship. It's definitely going to be different. I mean, we had our last game here yesterday and uh, definitely had that sad feel to it. But uh, I think uh, moving on in life will be better. Another, just another stage in life, moving on and playing the cross somewhere else. You know, in the end, you see that there are more, there's more out there. It's not just ending here. There's, you know, 
there's there's more lacrosse to be played and you know we'll, we'll always have our memories as a team and playing in the big games and you know winning and losing but we'll always be a team.